Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Friday the 15th of May 2020 as we close the end of a week. These weeks seem to be going by so quickly but may this be just an opportunity just to pause, reflect upon our day and reflect upon the week. A chance to give thanks for all that has been good. And even in times that have been challenging, to know that God has been with us every step of the way. So we say together, the Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we just pause for a moment. And we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in christ amen O god made speak to save us O lord make haste to help us glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever amen Alleluia. We say that hymn together. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from terror, fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And I thought the psalm that we had used this evening, or say, is Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall, be, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up because they know my name. They will call upon me and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And now, just for a couple of words from Scripture. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for the Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation. Sorry, the page went there for a moment. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. And now for our time of prayer together. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night all those who are ill or in pain knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now for the collect. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. God bless you and may your night be peaceful and I will touch base with you again on maybe for the Sunday Eucharist at 10 o'clock. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you 9 o'clock Monday morning for our Eucharist or Compline again at 7. Whatever you do, keep safe, keep well, keep connected and keep praying. God bless you all. Good night.